Hyde Park is a popular place for the community to enjoy nature, but it's also a place where paranormal entities lurk. Ooh. There's actually quite a few ghosts that caught the attention of the public, just like the man in black who loiters by the streetcar loop. There's also the friendly ghosts of the soldiers who can be spotted near a pond. Last but not the least, everybody's favorite, the Lady of Colburn Lodge. So uh, the initial cottage that was here was built in 1837. It was built by John Howard and his wife Jemima. Um, they had immigrated from England, uh, mostly so that John could find work here in Toronto. He was an architect and a surveyor and a painter, and he knew that a growing city would have need of his skills. Um, so he uh, moved to Toronto with his wife. They lived in town, and eventually they were able to acquire this piece of land, 165 acres of what is now the middle part of High Park and they built a three-room summer cottage here. Eventually, since he was a builder, he always was thinking of new ways to make the house better and bigger, so he kept adding on to it. A bit like a Frankenstein monster, he was always adding different pieces, more rooms. They were both interested in nature, they were both painters, so they loved to paint landscapes, outdoor scenes. Uh, John also loved to hunt, he loved to fish. They both loved being outside in, the gar in gardens, so they wanted a piece of land that was a little bit further outside the city so that they could go out and enjoy nature. Today we're going to focus on the ghost of Colburn Lodge, who was believed to be John Howard's wife. So uh, her name was Jemima, Jemima Howard. So she actually had breast cancer. Um, and in the 1800s, uh, they didn't understand cancer or many sicknesses the way that we do today. But uh, they didn't have anesthesia yet, so it was a horrific procedure, as you can imagine, I'm sure. Um, and Jemima, for whatever reason, opted not to have that procedure done. So basically it was a... Um, a matter of making her as comfortable as possible for the remainder of her life. So there are stories about Jemima haunting the house. Um, she did pass away in the house, so whenever you have a, a case of that, stories tend to grow up around it. Uh, there have been a number of accounts of people outside seeing a figure at the window when the lodge was locked and nobody was present. Um, and some of the other interpreters have stories about sensing a presence or having strange things happening, particularly when they were in the room where she sort of spent her last few years. I've never experienced anything while I've been here, and I, I feel a certain affinity for Jemima. I think she was an interesting woman. She was an artist. She was a creative person. She obviously marched to the beat of her own drum. So I like to think that if she is haunting us, she's a benevolent presence. A benevolent ghost? I heard she was restrained because of the effects of pain medication. I don't know if that really screams benevolent. Whether if it's a friendly ghost or a scary ghost or no ghost at all, that's up to you to find out. Wow.